So you mentioned as, as part of the uh, uh, issues uh, in Ukraine, the issue of democracy promotion and advancing democracy. Um, uh, to many Americans, to many people in the public, this seems like an impractical or abstract mm -hmm. uh, priority. So based on your experience, um, and you have a lot of it in the post-Soviet space in these transitional governments, some authoritarian, some transitioning better than others. Um, can you give a better, better sense and explain to uh, us and more broadly for the public, why is it in America's interests to have democracy promotion as a fundamental aspect of our foreign policy? Yeah, I think that um, it's important uh, as uh, Senator Luger has um, said and, and, and written, because in fact it is less likely that democracies are going to go to war uh, against each other. Not, not impossible, and we've seen it, but uh, it is less likely. Democracies are less, um, less likely to tolerate corruption. Corruption is in every society, but it's how you handle it. Are there institutions that can, uh, that can manage it? Are there uh, laws and regulations that um, make it illegal or discourage it or, or set up, um, uh, you know, set up a system to make it more difficult. Is there accountability? Um, I think all of these things are uh, really important uh, in a democracy and they're also important in the international space. And I think for people who are living in um, countries where they don't have a say in how they're governed. I'm not saying that most people in the world, including the United States, wake up in the morning and think about, um, you know, our founding fathers and the Constitution and, you know, all of the very theoretical things that are out there, but that actually, on a practical level, manage our political system and the rights and responsibilities that we have as citizens in the United States. But what most people do want, I think, is they want to be living, you know, in a safe, um, in a safe environment. And most people would think about that not as what's happening overseas, but as what's happening in their hometown. Um, they want to make sure that they have a job and they can put food on the table and that they can live their lives the way they want to. And if that means, um, you know, going to the movies uh, every night, if it means staying in every night, Nobody's telling them what to do. Nobody's telling them what university they have to go to. Nobody's telling them what job they're going to have after that. And nobody's telling them what to think and what to say. Um, we take, you know, our freedoms, honestly, I think, for granted. Um, and we are fortunate that we can take them for granted. Uh, but I think one of the things that we have realized over time, and one of the things that Senator Luger knew in his bones, is that freedom isn't free. You have to work for it. You have to work for it every day. And we work for it in different ways. Um, and so some people join the military. Some people join the Foreign Service. Some people, I hope every person in this room votes. Um, <laughs> and all of you are somehow participating in your community whether it's by being a Girl Scout leader, whether it is by uh, working um, you know, as a journalist um, at, at the local newspaper. There are so many different ways to do that. Getting parents together to make sure that the school um, playground is, is, uh, is, is in good shape for the kids and is safe. All of those things are examples of what happens in a healthy um, civil society, and it's what keeps, keeps us all going. And none of that is present in totalitarian states because the state takes care of everything. The state will handle uh, the playground issue. And if you don't like the fact that there's no uh, seesaw, too bad for you. You're being told that you're going to like the swing instead. And so these are, you know, silly examples, but they are real examples of how um, democracy, I think, is important uh, in everyday life because people want to choose, I mean, within parameters, people want to make their own decisions about how they live their life. And I think democracies are stronger when, um, when, when citizens are very active. Um, so going back to why it's important for us, I think in democracies, um, people are generally, um, uh, you know, happier, more secure, and more prosperous. I mean, we just need to look at the economic decisions that are made in totalitarian states uh, that, uh, and how they have boomeranged back. Um, so that is good for the U.S. people, and it makes better partners for us. 
Well, thank you.